Volkswagen's Polo GTI. Interesting, popular, why? I'm joined today by SXDRV's Mike. He's our photographer and all-round fun guy. And this is his car. Let's speak to him more and find out what makes this car tick. Well, I don't know when the exact moment was that I got into cars. I don't think it just happened like this one like grand moment. But I think that old TV show Viper probably had a lot to do with it, you know. That Viper with the machine guns coming out of it. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And I always wanted to do, have a Viper and then put stickers all over it. But um, times were pretty tough, so I ended up with a Polo and I put stickers all over <laughs> I must have been about 11 or 12. Uh, we stayed on a plot and uh, we actually had this old Ford Cortina 3 litre V6. Um, it's completely wrecked, you know, it's like not even close to being street legal. So I just used to drive that around the plots. Mother wasn't too happy with me. I used to destroy all of the grass, you know, <laughs> trying to do handbrake turns and stuff, just engine parts lying everywhere. Um, but, uh, then I actually got a Toyota Corolla, the KE70 1982. So, um, had that one for about two years. Uh, sold it and then I bought a, um, a City Golf. Uh, there was the 1400 Sports and I loved that thing. You know, I did a lot to it. It was obviously not the fastest thing around, but um, but for me personally, I I loved it. I had some great times in that. And then I thought I actually wanted to have something with a little bit more performance. So um, I was in a couple of minds about what to go out and buy. I was thinking on the lines of um, something like a Focus ST, the slightly older one, um, or the Golf 5 or Golf 6 GTI. And then a friend of mine actually found this one specifically, the Polo 6R GTI. And he said, well, why don't we go out and test drive it? And I really wasn't actually interested because that's not what I really wanted. And I didn't really like the shape of it either. But nevertheless, I went out and I test drove it and I was actually really surprised. It was a pretty good um, price. And the same day I actually bought the car. <laughs> so yeah, so when I took it home, uh, the girlfriend wasn't too pleased with me. Um, nearly got kicked out the house, but Nevertheless, that's, that's pretty much my story. One thing I grew to really like about these cars is the fact that it's got a great balance between its practical side as well as the performance elements. And arguably, this is not the best or even the quickest out of its rivals, you know, like the Fiesta STs and um, the OPCs and the Renault RSs and so on. But one thing that does make this car quite different is the fact that it's got a relatively small engine. It's just a 1400, but then it's twin charged. So it's got a supercharger as well as a turbo. Um, the nice thing about the supercharger is the fact that it gives you a lot of torque straight off the line. And then um, at higher RPMs, then your turbo will kick in. I get frequently asked why I haven't done many performance modifications to it, but I just wanted to enjoy it in a stock form first. So what I actually ended up doing was doing more visual modifications to it. I was inspired by the Polo WRCR, um, that's that limited edition um, two litre Polo. So I managed to get hold of the OEM front bumpers, the grills, the emblems and so on. Um, then yeah, perhaps at a later stage I will do some more performance modification to it. It's just currently got a cold air intake. But um, one thing that has to be done is at least the downpipe principally because these exhausts are so quiet straight out of factory you can barely even hear them. So that'll probably be the next step and probably followed with some stage one software. Mike, now I got you alone in your car. VW Polo GTI. Is there any reason specifically why you chose the Polo GTI? Well, that is a pretty good question, you know, um, because the arrivals um, obviously offer different benefits in different ways. But the reason why I've chose the Polo GTI is because I'm generally just a Volkswagen fan, really. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's unheard of, isn't it? I would never have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the DSG. Right. So, apart from manuals and, and automatics, uh, how, how is the DSG different and, and I mean, does it improve the ride for you? Um, or how is it for you? Well, a lot of people sort of argue the fact and say that if you have a DSG, you're not as engaged with the car as opposed to something like a manual. Mm -hmm. But um, again, yeah, I know it is more of a personal thing, but I, I personally love it because, you know, this is my daily driver. Most of the time I'm just sitting in traffic anyway, you know, so I can actually use it in like full on auto mode. But the benefit of a DSG is that um, nothing comes close to the speed of the change because the onboard computer actually tries to guess what gear you are going to engage next. 
so it actually speeds up multiple gears at the same time and then just switches between them so 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 unlike a normal automatic box you know um, a DSG is a lot quicker so basically the clutch is doing all the work for you but ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine and you just can't get into it. <laughs> whoa I made my joke <laughs> Okay, Mike, definitely one of the questions I've been wanting to ask you, having driven this car and chosen this car, would you actually recommend this car to anyone? Well, for me personally, I absolutely love them. Um, they are great little engines, they are comfortable, they are not completely over the top, you know, as far as styling is concerned, which is what I enjoy personally. Um, they are reliable, up to a certain extent. <laughs> And just keep in mind that this is the 2011. So after this, we had the 6C, which is the 1.8 liter turbo. And then now the brand new one is um, the 2 liter turbo, which is the same engine as the Golf 6 GTI, by the way, okay. just slightly deep tuned. But I mean, I guess it all depends on budgets. So I would definitely recommend this car. I absolutely love it and I can't complain at all. So we've literally just got back from the the, the interview with Mike. Um, yeah, listen to this. You hear that rough? That rough idle? That sounds sounds like you've got a bit of uh, oomph going on, man. Eh? Yeah, that does not sound good. I think based on turn of the engine. I'm sorry about your car, man. I've heard that numerous times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a slight little issue. Um, yeah, my engine's broken. Yeah. Okay. So, can you pick me up? Preferably not in a Fox Barker. It's a Mr. Crash! Why are you filming this? I don't know. This is bad. This is awesome, dude. <laughs> Christopher. Hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> so what's the problem? Volkswagen. It's like proper broken. Bro. This like is, proper. This is bad. This this is bad. I mean, it's not just the boost leak. Like boost is gone first. Of all. And when it's idling, it's got this rough like knocking. Oh my god. So, yeah. So it's not only bad, it's a problem this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is proven. Okay. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Cry. I'm gonna tissue. <laughs> no. Uh, Have you got a tissue? Oh my god! <laughs> just in case, I, I came prepared. <laughs> I can't believe you had one. <laughs> hey, Chris, okay. can I grab a lift with you back to the office? Sure, man. <laughs> cool. uh, so, Mike, we'll, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Again. Again, seriously. You know how it goes, man. <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see you later. I'll, I'll, I'll Have yourself somebody. a great trip, Roscoe. Cool, man. Cool. Thank I you, hope Chris. You come yeah, right. yeah, please, hey, man. Tissue. I really Goodbye. Shit. Cool, man. It was nice knowing you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, you know, I find it actually pretty amazing that um, the rotary comes to pick up the non rotary. <laughs> and you know, mm. I get blamed for being like having an unreliable car. I'm just more worried about the review. Yeah. So well, like, we're still gonna put it out. People need to see. You mean as it is? Yes, people oh need my to see. God. <laughs> well, there goes any sponsorships from VW. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. There's definitely a plus side to it because my car sounds and feels like a rotary. It just looks better. Oh. Gosh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. <laughs> Shame, look at him. Look at him. He's so depressed. <laughs> but he always looks like a miserable fuck. 